Happy Friday, everybody. Welcome back to the shop. Like the other videos go, I'm Dave. <laughs> okay. Um, first, I just want to make a couple of comments. I had mentioned in uh, one of the videos that this was my cherry um, caliper. And all of a sudden, it was starting to read off. And I figured it out. Um, what was happening is if you measure up here, you get one reading. You measure down here, you get another reading, which was telling me that the jaw was tilting. And I looked at the top, and there's two screws here that somehow I got out of adjustment. So once I redid them and tightened them up, now it's cherry again. And the same thing with my digital Fowler cap, uh, calipers. They were out too. So go check your caliper, look at the screws, and see. You can measure anything down here or up here. If you get different readings for whatever you're doing, then yeah, it's off. The other thing I want to mention is if you're ordering anything from China now, through my experience, um, it's just taken months and months to get it. So if you're ordering from China on eBay or Banggood, it's going to be months before you get it. It took three months to get a control board for the CNC. I am making progress on it, and I will come back at some point showing software and everything working, but what I've found. Um, so for this video, I picked up uh, a new set of lathe turning tools, and I know I didn't do too good of a job here reviewing them, but they're kind of complicated. So for what it's worth, uh, here's the set, here's what I did and found out, and I am starting to really like them. So, hope you enjoy, see you next Friday. New toy, but geez, and they wrapped it in, this was outside, inside of that, inside of that, then this, then a box, and then finally I got to my item, which really isn't the trash. Proline Max. Uh, I bought from them on Amazon. I've seen them. This particular item came from um, eBay. Took forever to get here, but it was supposed to be here like three days ago. I wanted to see. It was $80, $79 or whatever. Because I've seen a lot of people with this particular insert and also this one. So I was really curious. You know, let me get a set that finally fits the machine. <coughs> what were they in length? I think it was three inches or something. Yeah, it's about three. So, and three-eighths to boot. This guy would be curious to see. It's a pretty deep parting tool. But, uh, so, and I got another threading tool. Oh, great. None of this will stay in this box. Cool box, though. But, yeah, because I only have one of these. Well, I could make more <laughs> tool holders, have them on both legs. This is interesting, too. This I have, and it works like crazy. This for stainless and really hard steels is beautiful. So, yeah, two of these would be great. So, let's go over to the lathe here and play with some of this stuff. I already tried this guy. Uh, there's a cut there. It's wobbling, so it tends to want to grab, and I may not have had it really correctly on center, rotational center. So I'll be trying this guy again later, maybe when I really have to do something. This guy, though, that I already made one couple of passes on it. It's not too bad. I don't know if it needs cutting fluid or not, but I guess I'll try it with some fluid here. Why not my oil kerosene mix? Let's see what it does. Yeah, I tried to get this magnifying glass in the right position so you can see what I'm doing. There. Five thousandths cut. Yeah, it's pretty good finish. I didn't expect super out of it, but... Just add a little bit different capability. Yeah, I don't think this guy likes deep cuts. I can see lines in there. If I use my TCMT, that would have been a mirror finish. Let me try a, a couple of thousands finishing cut and see what happens. 
Yeah, there's definitely lines in that. Stop it for a second. Yeah, I can see a lot of lines. Alright, so let's do it again. But here's a 2000, which is taking four off of it. Yeah, it's a lot better. <laughs> wow. It does not like deep cuts, huh? But these guys I'm probably going to use on just steels, have them around for steel. Yeah, not the greatest finish, but uh, as soon as this finishes, wipe it down with a paper towel. There, disengage it. Here's a paper towel. Got one. Let's see what this looks like. Eesh. It feels nice. It feels good. But boy, sure looking at it in the magnifying glass, it doesn't look nice at all. Yeah, well. Alright, let's see if I got a piece of 1018 around here. Yeah, here's a piece. One piece of 1018 with an ugly finish on it. Tighten that up. This guy, yeah, probably will use cutting fluid, right? Yeah, why not? It's a long ways to cut. Right there, huh? Yeah, let's start cutting here. I don't know about the quality of this insert either. I'm just starting to get it up from here. Does that look like I'm in a magnifying glass? No, not too bad. Hmm. It's actually doing pretty good for 1018, if you ask me. me. Disengage it and come back. Go in a little bit more. What do I want? There's 2,000 right there. Yeah, this is definitely doing 1018 better than any of my other inserts for some reason. Usually it gets pushed in and out, and this looks, eh, that's kind of an ugly thing. I don't know. Um, might stop it and see. What does that look like? It looks like heck. I mean, <laughs> yeah, it's rough. It's rough, so. But 1018 is an ugly stuff to do. So I'll be trying some of the other guys, um, other steels here, and see what it does. Hopefully you can see that finish. The shiny stuff here I did with this this cutter. I just started with this one. Oof, not, not, not pretty, no. But let's see what happens anyway. I'm on a power feed, so I must have hit the knob. Oh man, this is taking a big cut, huh? Yeah. Finish it by hand. Go in a little bit more and take that off. So power feed. Oh yeah. Not really the best finish I've ever seen. Do it by hand. So far, not impressed. Two thousand deeper. I'm just starting to hit that now. Yeah, I guess I'll engage the power feed. Yeah, it's not that impressive. <laughs> but, okay, let me feel it here when this is done. Occasionally, it's like, got a shiny surface. I don't know. There's a rag here. Slow that down a bit. 
it. Yuck, that's terrible. And it feels even worse. Okay, so not impressed with this guy. And by the way, for some reason now I'm swapping tools and they're remaining on height. Um, well, you can also see my addition here. Is I got tired of pulling the Allen wrench out to change the angle, so now I can just lock it. Wow. All right. Well, let's see. All right, parting tool. I was surprised it was very close to being on rotational center. Um, use my tab magic for aluminum. Oh, wait a minute. So power. <coughs> feed auto feed engage. Not a good idea. All right, so slow RPM, a little bit of juice on it to start with. That's pretty fast. I know a lot of people go in fast, but I've never had much success at higher RPMs. All right, I'm hitting it, and it's not doing anything. Whoa, it just grabbed. And I saw the entire compound move. This is not cutting. I am not at the correct height. Can't be. Let me take a look here. With respect to, I hate this stuff. It stinks. Gets on your hands and. Yeah, it's. I can't tell. Seems like it's fine, but I think it is a little too high. Try dropping it. Oh, I can't go any further. I'm hitting bottom. So I got to shave the bottom off of this thing to be able to check this guy out. So, oh well. All right, took the face mail to the bottom of this guy here. So I've got plenty of room now. It took about 40 thousandths off. Uh, reset this guy for height. And what the heck, I'll just use this for cutting fluid. Uh, I have no idea why. This piece is so out of round, but yeah, it's it cuts. And on a uh, <laughs> wow, it's really having at it, huh? Ooh, we just saw the whole thing tilt. I don't know why it's digging in. There, now it's finally going. But boy, it sure is jerking this machine around. Grabby sucker, I don't know. I may have to play with the height or something here to see what's going on. It's got to be on center here. Let me face it off and verify that I don't have a nub left, huh? Alright, so I'm going to come in. Need the magnifying glass over here. And see, oh, there, a big gap. There. Alright, so I'll take it in a little. Yeah, it looks like I'm right on center. Yeah, no knob. Does a nice face job though, huh? Magnifying glass. Yeah, it's a pretty, eh, move it down. No, it's about average. But I don't know why it just grabs. Maybe it's just too wide. Because uh, I did tighten it down, right? Yeah, it was tight. Move it back over into that groove and try it again let me try a little bit higher speed go over a little bit I want you to grab everything yeah that's not doing well better but I don't really like this tool so um that's it then. That was the last piece I wanted to test. It's the insert that I like the most for whatever reason it is. Let me try angling it slightly. See what happens, huh? Uh, I don't have power feed on, so lock it down and give it a lot of speed. See what it's gonna do. Probably should use some cutting fluid. That's a mess. Alright, well.
Yeah, this does a pretty nice job, whatever it is. Still not in round. <laughs> They're not nice round. Where is the cloth there? Clean that up, huh? Yeah, all in all, I'm pretty happy with that finish. Huh. So, good luck trying to figure out what these inserts are. I don't know if these are 2151s or what. So, I gotta do a lot of. I already did some looking trying to find that exact um, pattern or how it looks, and I couldn't find it. So, I don't know where this guy came from, but. I will be looking around for it, especially with what it does on hard seals. So, hope you guys enjoyed. After playing with these guys a lot more off camera, I th thought I should come back and just give some closing comments, my opinion on these guys. First, I should have never thrown these guys at aluminum because these inserts, um, TCGX 2151s by Cobra Carbide, do an incredible job. Nothing I've seen ever even comes close to the finish. They fit the standard uh, 3.8 set fine, so that's, that's that. So maybe, well, I did find this insert on Banggood meant for aluminum. So that's on order. I'll wait and see what happens there. Digging around in a drawer for something else, I discovered I had another one of these guys. Didn't know that, where it came from. So I have three of these. I'm sure they work fine. I've used this one, and it's sharp, and this one's just as sharp. So um, these will be fine. Put that off to the side. Next up, um, these two guys. I haven't actually used these specific ones. Um, I probably should try it. Because I know I do have an insert, a set of inserts just like this. And it loves any steel. Stainless, you name it. It just cuts right through it. So eventually I will try that insert. Uh, this guy though is what I did a lot of work with. And it turns out uh, one of the gibbs was loose. You know, the compound goes this way, it was tilting. So the Z-axis uh, gib was loose. So after tightening that up, you know, readjusting it, it did do a better job. Um, that's 1144, and that part here is 1018. So I'm getting better with that insert. Um, so I did a lot, like I said, with this guy. Not super impressed, but who knows. These two, um, different inserts. This insert does a nice job, and I cannot find it to save my life. So uh, didn't do a whole lot. I, get, I should put this back in now that I've got the Gibbs set up. This guy, um, not really that impressed with. I did go back after the gib was fixed, and yeah, it cuts a lot better now, but it does not like lubrication for some reason. This guy, you need lubrication or it's gonna grab. Um, so I don't know, I did take this guy and honed the face of it, so now it's incredibly sharp and it started cutting better. So I've got more planer, oh yeah, the other thing too. Um, it sticks out so far that I can't get anything big, uh, groove or part, anything bigger than a half inch. So these though, beautiful Harbor Freight. They sell a bunch, you know, assortment pack. One of these are in it for three, four dollars, three dollars and change. So that's kind of my closing comments on all of this stuff. Um, is it worth the 74, 80 bucks? Uh, probably for an education for me, yeah, it was worth it. So, hope you guys enjoyed.